Okay. Um, what we're going to do today is work out a shaded area. Um, it's very similar to just working out normal area, except in the case where we only want the shaded area, um, we have to take away the unshaded area bits. Okay, so I'm going to need to work out the area of the complete shape. In this case, it's a rectangle, it could be circular. Um, so you could be working out the area of a circle or a semicircle. Then we work out the blank areas, the areas that are not shaded, and we take them away from the main area. So um, let's consider the triangle first. Um, this is um, a base of 15 centimeters and a height of 10. So base times height divided by 2 is the area of the triangle. So we've got 15 times 10. Divide the answer by 2. That's 150 divided by 2, which equals 75 centimetres squared. So we've got the area of the triangle. The area of the small rectangle. These are the unshaded areas. Okay. 8 centimetres by 15 centimetres. So a rectangle is uh, base times height, length times width. It depends how you want to um, label it. So 15 times 8. Um, 10 times 8 is 80. 5 times 8 is 40. 80 plus 40 is 120. So we've got 120 centimetres squared. So now that I know the two areas that are not shaded, I can work out the area of the big shaded area and subtract the two smaller areas. So the main area equals 20 times 80. Uh, 2 times 8 is 16 with two zeros. So then I need to subtract the two areas that I don't want, which are the unshaded areas. So we've got 1,600. Take away 120, take away 75. Um, I don't mind if you use a calculator, but you don't actually have to. Um, that's 1,600, 1, take away 195, which is 1,405 centimeters squared. So the understanding behind most shaded area sec uh, questions will be you work out the main shape, the big shape, and then you work out the smaller areas that are unshaded. Sometimes they may change their question, so be very careful and read the question. Right, now have a go at the worksheet that I've uh, set you on show my homework. Thank you.